Hi everyone, I'm Sergio Garcia. I'm here at uh, Sergio Garcia Golf Academy in Mediterranean Golf in uh, Castellón, Spain. And uh, practicing a little bit on the pad view, just making sure that my reading and uh, my stroke is, uh, is in good shape and uh, really enjoying all the little options that uh, pad view gives you. So here's the first part of the drill that I usually try to do. I get on a five, six footer straight pad and just focus on, on my stroke, making sure that I'm aiming right and starting on the, la on the right line and just kind of get confidence repeating. Try hit 10, 12, 15 putts straight. So let me hit a couple of putts. So that's pretty much what you want to do. Kind of put some nice solid strokes. Get a good feel for the swing. Make sure you're standing on the right line. Obviously here with the pad view, it's, it's very nice because you can see how the ball rolls and how you start and everything. So it gives you good, good feedback. And then at the end of the day, I know it's easier said than that, but every putt is a straight putt. Even the, the ones that break, you're still hitting it straight to a, to a, to a point and letting the ground uh, do the rest. So um, once you get a good feel for it, hitting these straight putts, get a, you know, get a good sense of your stroke, making sure that you're standing in the right line, making a lot of putts, then you can move into more breaking putts then uh, we move here to a little bit more of a breaking putt, similar, similar uh, distance, similar length. Uh, but like I said earlier, you still hit a straight putt. It's just you're not aiming at the hole. You know, you're aiming uh, a little bit more uh, on, the, on the true line and uh, kind of let the ground do the, uh, the rest of the work. The most important thing here is going to be to be consistent with your stroke, just like you were on the straight putt, and kind of get a good feel for the, for the speed. Go. Thank you. Nice pat. <laughs> and, you know, it's just uh, the same as earlier. I don't know, I'll probably hit eight or ten pats. Get a good feel for how the ball is breaking. Stroke doesn't change. It doesn't matter if it's right to left or left to right. Uh, you're still stroking the same way, and you know you're just letting the gravity and and the ground do the rest. There you go. Well, here we are. Now uh, we have a little left to right putt, uh, just kind of like a ball left. I think a, a, a great thing about putt view is that it shows you like. A putt like this, sometimes you will you will look at it and you think it's like left touch putt, but actually, you know, it shows you the the right line to hit it. You know how much break sometimes there is that we don't actually see. So it's good to see that to give give yourself a little bit of feedback. So then when you're on the course and you have a similar putt, you know more or less what the ball is going to do. But like I was saying earlier, same thing. Obviously, you're just aiming a little left of the hole. You're still hitting a straight putt to that target, and then let the let the ground move it to the right. And you're just trying to, like we were talking earlier, keep it consistent. You know, you're just trusting what you're doing and believe in your, in your stroke. So once you've worked on your stroke and you're comfortable with it, a lot of the times, sometimes you miss putts and you think it's because of your stroke, but uh, a lot of times it will be the combination of speed and, and read. Here, for example, we have a, a, a nice drill from putt view, it's called child zone. What you do here is you're working on your speed. So you start from hitting as far as possible without leaving the box, and then just kind of gradually try to hit it shorter and shorter. So it's a good way of, of working on your on your speed and then uh, you can match that up with uh, with your line keep your stroke nice and smooth you know this is a really nice drill
to really challenge yourself and, and work a little bit on, on the speed you wanna. Obviously you have to go shorter and shorter. But try to get it closer within the balls, obviously. So it's a really, really nice drill to, to work on the speed of the green and, and the feel uh, that you have. Obviously you want to try to get as many balls as you can uh, within the box and it's a really, really nice drill to, to get a, a good feel of, of your speed throughout the, throughout the putting green. Well, thanks everyone for joining the masterclass with me. Uh, I hope that uh, this helps you a little bit with your putting. Uh, obviously nice to have uh, pad view uh, as a tool to to help you improve on it uh, and then uh, just uh, enjoy the enjoy the the work uh, enjoy the the process and um, you know hopefully you'll uh, you'll get better and better and uh, get more and more confident uh, out there on the golf course